Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Matthew Sabi here for LockerDome.com. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a desktop app called TweetDeck. TweetDeck is one of the best social media desktop apps there is you can get today. So, to download TweetDeck, open up your web browser, and head over to TweetDeck.com. That's T-W-E-E-T-D-E-C-K.com. TweetDeck is also available for the iPad and iPhone. So, today we're going to be downloading and checking out the desktop app. So, we'll go ahead and click on Desktop. Click on Download Now button. And yes, TweetDeck is free. As you can see, TweetDeck is an Adobe Air application. If you don't have Adobe Air installed, which most people do, when you go and download TweetDeck, it will install it for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Open. Click on Install. To go ahead and get started with TweetDeck, go ahead and click on the Add Column button. Which you guys can go through these options here. Or if you want to get started right away, go ahead and click on the Core option. Once you've selected your service that you want to add a column for, and as you can see, I've selected Twitter after I signed in. Go to Core, and you can see all these different options that you have. If you want to see a column like you would normally see on Twitter.com, you want to go ahead and click on All Friends. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and click on TweetDeck Recommends. As you can see, it's added a new column to this blank screen with TweetDeck Recommendations. Recommended tweets. Sort of like the featured tweets on Twitter. Let's go ahead and add another column. Click the Add Column button again. We'll go ahead and add a Facebook column to add a new account. Just go ahead and obviously click on the Add New Account button. Click on the service that you wish. And make sure you do allow TweetDeck to post things to your wall on Facebook if you do want to post to Facebook from TweetDeck. I'm just going to go ahead and click on Allow, Save Settings. Go ahead and click on the Add New Column button again. Go to Facebook. And now I can go ahead and add my Facebook column. Once again, if you want to see your basic default feed, as you would see just on your regular news feed from Facebook.com, just go Full News Feed and click on Everyone. But just for the video, let's go ahead and stick to Twitter. Obviously, the bar that you have on the top here is where you would post to Twitter, and we'll get into some more of the advanced options here. Let's go ahead and post something here. As you can see, it says Update Successful. One of the most amazing, amazing features about TweetDeck, which if you ask me is one of the best, you'll see if I paste in a URL here, in this case LockerGnome.com, the tweet was automatically shortened with bit.ly to a shorter URL. So no more having to go to the actual URL shortener and having to shorten the URL. Just paste it in and TweetDeck will do it for you. You also have your translate this tweet option to tr obviously translate the tweet into a different language. You have your recent recent <laughs> hashtags option right here. Another quick time saver offered by TweetDeck is if you'll see, I could just go ahead and drag an image right up to here and it'll place it right here into the upload field. So just another quick time saver. You could also go ahead and record a video right from your webcam, which will then be uploaded by TwitVid. Of course, you have your Twitter location options. If you guys are done with this, go ahead, click on close, or if you want to obviously put that post out there on Facebook or Twitter, just go ahead and click enter. Just click on the new compose update button up here. Just go ahead and click on that, and you'll see right here, you can choose where it's posted on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever account you have on there. Just go ahead and switch right over. Or, of course, you could, you could paste it to, or post it to, both. Just go ahead and select whichever ones you want here. So that's just an incredible time saver. And so going ahead, posting it on both, or copying it and pasting it to the other. TweetDeck does automatically refresh the page after so long, or if you need a quicker update, just go ahead and click on the refresh button. Go ahead and check out the settings option here. There's tons and tons of options that you definitely want to check out. Just go ahead and set these however you want. You can also sync it with another TweetDeck account, or you can create an account right from inside TweetDeck. If you don't have a TweetDeck account, that's it'll prompt you to when you once you install TweetDeck. You can just change all the other options you want. You can also change the colors, the background color. Just go ahead and change this stuff to anything you guys want. As you can see, you can change the background color in the entire settings of the UI are in here. Or we could just refer back to the original dark. And as I said, TweetDeck is compatible with multiple services, including Twitter, Facebook, Google Buzz, LinkedIn, Foursquare, and MySpace, which, as I showed you before, you can post to all at the same time. Just check off which services you like right at the top here. Since TweetDeck is an Adobe Air application, this means it is multi-platform, so you can run this on Windows or OS X. This has been Matthew Sabia for LockerGnome.com and YouTube.com slash LockerGnome.
You're welcome to come and check out our community of geeks at geeks.parillo.com. You're also welcome to come check out our question and answers community at lockernode.net. We're also streaming live, as usual, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.parillo.com. We'll see you later.